Hey, I, um, I got to thinking I haven't posted anything in a long time video wise uh, for Thrive Life. And some of you guys know that I'm a Thrive Life consultant. I'm not very good at it. I don't post very often. And so that doesn't help <laughs> get the word out. But um, I'm getting ready to make a meatloaf. And I thought, you know what? This is a perfect chance to show you a little bit of the um, everyday side of the Thrive Life. I've showed you like the strawberries and stuff and how you can snack on those. And they're really good, but I'm going to show you some uh, ingre Thrive Life ingredients that I'll put in my meatloaf. Now, you know, meatloaf has tomato sauce or, or some people use tomato soup and onions and salt and of course meat and breadcrumbs and and that's all well and good but what I'm going to show you is the uh, the Thrive Life red bell peppers and the onions because I'll be putting those in and um, I'm going to touch on real quick the monthly special now the monthly special for June of course June is just about over uh, but the monthly special for June includes the uh, freeze-dried onion, red bell pepper, instant milk, which is different than um, the dehydrated milk because the instant milk is freeze-dried and dehydrated milk is heated when they do that. So there's a little bit of taste difference and a little bit of quality difference uh, in those uh, processing. Um, there's blackberries, oh, blackberries, and strawberries, which strawberries is kind of like a staple, shredded beef, and uh, or I already said the instant milk. So what did I miss? I don't think I missed anything. One, two, oh, red, ra red raspberries. Blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, onion slices. Now what I'm gonna show you is not the slices, it's the, it's the diced. Um, red bell pepper, instant milk, and shredded beef. Now, got it. So anyway, uh, when I'm making my oatmeal, uh, oatmeal, Lord have mercy, where did that come from? When I'm making my meatloaf, um, I use uh, bell peppers. Not too much because it gives me indigestion, but I do use a little bit. Now, when I dehydrate my own bell peppers um, in slices, they, they come out like this. So I'm, I'm looking at this, I can, I can cut them up and I usually do cause that's just too big. Um, I should dice them, but sometimes I'm lazy and these didn't get diced, but you can see they dry up in the dehydrator. They look kind of like sticks and they're, they're kind of tough, but they come back pretty good and, and they taste just fine when I cook with them. I normally wouldn't eat them like that anyway, but now the Thrive Life, red bell peppers that I'm going to put in my meatloaf are freeze dried and they look a lot better. Now these are um, um, cut uh, they're not really cubed. You can't cube them, but they're cut. They're not in strips and they're, well, there's a couple little tiny strips like that one, but um, they're crunchy and of course they taste really good. I'll give myself indigestion here. But a quarter cup there, that'll that'll go in the meatloaf and um, they'll rehydrate just fine. It'll be great. The onions, I got to looking for my onions. I must have used them. I made a meatloaf for John. Well, I made several little tiny meatloafs for John here a while back. And I think I used them. Um, John was having surgery. John Coon, some of you guys know him, was having surgery on his shoulders and I did some meatloafs and mashed potatoes and froze them and sent them over so he could he could uh, eat. Um, he could just reheat them without cooking. But so this is, but this is uh, the, the diced onion. And you look how gorgeous those are, just perfectly white, gorgeous. My onions come out of the dehydrator a little dark because I'm using heat. So they're not as, as sweetly uh, white as these. And uh, I am waiting. I did order some, a bag of onions from a friend who is in the, um, one of the Shriners groups. Anyway, they were selling um, onion 
ordering onions for their for their project and I did order some and I don't have them yet anyway these are great these will rehydrate beautifully they taste just like a a fresh onion I'll have onion breath now and they're great um the uh price on the monthly special uh, for special delivery you'll save 30 percent when you when you sign up for automatic monthly delivery uh monthly special deliveries um you get a discount and uh, this month it's it's 30 percent so the monthly delivery service special is 117 dollars and 13 cents i know it sounds outrageous it really does uh but you're getting today's prices that will be good. If you don't open the container, they're good for 25 years or so. If you do, they're open for at least a year. So this container of um, of the chopped onions is it's 3.95 ounces dry, uh, and it would cost it it 16 uh, half, a quarter cup servings, and um, if you once you open them, like I just opened them. Uh, they could stay if you, you know, so they're not subjected to extreme heat and humidity and stuff. They'll stay good for at least a year, probably longer than that. A lot of people uh, on the um, on the forum say that they that they do well much longer than that. I will take this now that it's open because um, I don't use onions every day. I'll uh, I'll put these in some jars and vacuum seal them. So they, they do a little, and, and that helps extend it even further than that. This can, I had somebody ask me what the size of the cans are. By weight, it, it varies depending on what they put in there. But this is like one of those small coffee cans. You used to be able to, um, I think you can still get them. Some odd little brands still have the metal cans, but it's like a salt, small coffee can size. So um, the onions come out, I did the math on the onions, and the onions come out to be about 83 cents a serving. Uh, but you know they're good for a very long time they'll be on your shelf they're not going to rot like the ones in your basket are going to you don't have to process them you just pop them open and, and measure it out the freeze drying is already done for your freeze dry machines are very expensive and running them is not cheap so you know you you do come out ahead it, it, there is work involved in in producing these things and um and having consistency throughout the product. But, um, you know, it, it simplifies your work day. I mean, you can throw these things in and it'll last, but it's just really good. Um, and the uh, the red uh, bell peppers, they look like that in the can. So they're really good too. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't eat in front of you. It's lunchtime, I'm hungry. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. The monthly special is good in in June is good till obviously the end of the month. Um, you can get the individual cans uh, for special prices if you get monthly delivery on the individual cans. Like if you go in and you click on the individual purchases and you sign up for monthly delivery, then that you'll get that food every time. So like if you sign up, if you order the um, onions. Um, individually and you sign up for a monthly delivery every month you'll get a can of onions if you sign up for the monthly special every month you'll get the monthly special so um this month you'll save 20 percent on the red bell peppers if you just order in the cans by them the individual cans by themselves you'll save uh, 19 percent on the onions if you're just ordering the onions by themselves if you order the monthly special and you get it on monthly delivery service you'll save 30% on the total cost of all of the products. So uh, go to uh, robinholstein.thrivelife.com and that's just one word, R-O-B-I-N-H-O-L-S-T-E-I-N dot thrivelife.com. And, and if you set your account up there and you order through there, I'll be your consultant. Drop me an email if you need to, drop me a message here. I'll put the information uh, in the comments. Uh, for that instead of trying to spell it all out and I'm gonna wrap up in less than 10 minutes yay the first time in a long time I've done that so please hurry up go check it out get your order in and save and I'm gonna go make a meatloaf bye